Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take a look at exactly what you need to do step by step to get a PAT RDOP connection going. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer so you can see the screen better. All right, so first things first, let's uh, go ahead and get our Pi RDOP uh, C modem running. And you'll see that command right here ready to be entered. Uh, now the plug HW1 comma zero, and you see it repeated twice. That is the uh, number of my sound card. And you can go back and watch my uh, installation videos on Pat Winlink and see exactly how to find those. Uh, yours probably is the same if you've only got one sound card, but it could be different. All right, so let's go ahead and start the RDOP modem. And we'll give it just a second. And right here, we should see these input peaks starting to show up on our screen. So we know that that's working. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to a new terminal window and let's fire up PAT with PAT HTTP. Go ahead and hit return, and we'll just leave this, uh, this window open as well. And I'm gonna open up the browser real quick on the Pi. And I've navigated to 127.0.0.1, and I'm using port 5000. Uh, yours is probably 8080 unless you changed it. Uh, that's something that's set up in the PAT configure file uh, so, like I said, yours is probably 8080, mine's 5000. So, it looks like Pat's ready to go. We've got RDOP running. All right, so how do we find a station to connect to? Obviously, I'm out here in the uh, middle of the woods, uh, no internet connection. But we can go back to our terminal window. Now, I've got a script written, and I've, I've made a video on this before. It's called Find RDOP. I'll leave a link to that video and how to get that installed right up at the top. But let's go ahead now and enter find RDOP. So we're greeted with this screen here and it asks us to set the grid. That's the first thing we need to do. So we'll go ahead and enter one. And the grid square I want to search is echo mic. So I'm gonna enter EM and hit return. And then it asks me what band I wanna work with. Uh, well, with the particular antenna I'm using today, I'm limited to 40 meters. So we're going to go ahead and choose 40 meters. And we'll get a list. Now, it's actually long enough that this one scrolled off the screen. I'm going to scroll back up just a little bit to the top. All right, and you'll see right here that this is one of my favorite stations to connect to. It's K0SI, uh, and he's roughly 627, I believe that's kilometers from my location. So this is critical information, obviously, the call sign. And then we've got two frequencies over here, 7102 and 7103.5. And you need to know the difference. If you go to winlink.org and look these up, all winlink.org is going to give you is the center frequency. And that is not what we're looking for. We actually need the dial frequency to set the radio to. Now, I'm not using any uh, cat control today with, uh, with this setup. So I'll have to actually spin the dial on the radio. All right, so armed with this information, let's see if we can make a connection. Let's go back to our PAT mailbox. All right, we're gonna say action and connect. Under the transport, we're gonna select RDOP. And the call sign was K0SI. So we'll enter that there and we're ready to go. Now, I'm not gonna enter anything here for frequency because I'm not using cat control. I'm just spinning the dial on the radio. And this is not a radio-only connection. That would be used if you was doing peer-to-peer -peer connections, but I'm not. I'm going ahead and contacting an RMS gateway so that I can see if I have any new messages. And that's it. Let's go ahead and click the connect button, and you'll be able to watch right down here in the bottom black screen that's a terminal window, and it'll also show you what's going on as it's happening. So let's click the connect button and see if we can get a connection today. All right, so I'm not exactly certain what happened to that first connection. Let's go ahead and try that one more time before we give up on that. It sounded like it was gonna connect, and then it didn't. Let's try one more time and see if we can actually get a connection to go through.
All right, and there you have it, guys. Uh, that was a successful connection to K0SI. Not sure what that first one was, some little hiccup in there. I don't know if it was software related or propagation related, but the second time we tried it, it went through, same station. All right, guys, well, I hope this helps you make an RDOP connection if you've been having trouble with it in the past. I think I'm gonna play around with a little bit of JS8 before heading back to the house. We'll see you guys on the next video. 7-3.